In the world of Harry Potter, there is only one secret that we care about. That's the Chamber of Secrets. So stick around and we'll take a look at the Chamber of Secrets by Nemesis Now. Hey there, everyone. My name's Perry. And my name's Susan. And, and welcome, welcome to, to The, the Potter, Potter Attic. Attic. Well, guys, this one is another one of those long overdue videos because I received this quite some time ago. And I actually, the package came relatively beat up. So I, I did open this one up already. And just to confirm that everything was in one piece. But um, I have not pulled this one out, thoroughly looked at it. Um, I am super excited because this is my very first piece by Nemesis Now. They make some pretty amazing stuff. Um, they make goblets, cups, um, like tankards. They make um, busts. Um, they have one of Dumbledore, or not Dumbledore, Voldemort, and one of Dobby. Uh, both fantastic. They've got um, snow globes. They've got, I mean, just, they've got some really great stuff. So if you don't know this company and haven't ever checked out their stuff, go take a look at them because they do have some phenomenal products for Harry Potter. So without further ado, let's dive right in and take a look at this guy because I, so we've talked about the fact that I've completely redone the collection, right? And I did a pretty major overhaul, um, preparing for the, um, uh, the two-year anniversary uh, and doing the whole um, you know, collection tour that I'm going to do here. Um, but I, um, went in doing that, I've freed up a ton of room. Those little shelf inserts that I've got in there. Yeah, look, at this thing is a mess. The shelf inserts that I put in there really gave some order to the collection that I didn't have before and freed up a ton of space. So it's allowed me to do some new things that I wasn't originally doing. And so now I'm trying to assemble shelves for each book. So I've got a pretty good uh, um, Philosopher's Stone shelf. Chamber of Secrets, not so great, and and the um, uh, Order of the Phoenix, or not Order of the Phoenix, the um, Prisoner of Azkaban, not so great either. So I'm working on it, but this will be a great addition to that particular shelf. So the uh, the Chamber of Secrets shelf, that is. And man, they have this uh, just an absolute mess. Not wanting to come out. I'm trying not to damage it. Hold on, hold on, don't, don't pull. Okay, go ahead. I'm just going to pull it out this way. Man. See, I, like I told you, it came pretty mangled. I was really happy that nothing inside was broken. Here, let me have this. I'm gonna, we're going to clean all this up real quick. Let me get this out of the way. We've got a ton of styrofoam in here. Let's just do this. We're going to put it all on the floor for right now. We'll come back and get it later. Back and get it later. That's what vacuums are for, right? Get all that stuff out of here. Okay, all right. Now, let's pull this sucker out. So we can take a look because this thing is pretty magnificent. I mean, it is. I've seen it online. Uh, I have seen it. You like that? How cool is that? It's like you could put stuff in. Yeah, there. of course. Yeah. So, so, so let's take a, a close look at the Chamber of Secrets by Nemesis now. So, I absolutely love this piece. It is stunning. So you've got the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets with the little snakes on the door. Remember how they all retract back when he yeah. speaks his parcel tongue and that's what opens it up? And then you open it up, and I mean, it's it's a beautiful inside. Shelves. I mean, it's got like these little wooden shelves inside. Um, will I ever store anything in this? Probably not. This is gonna be more of a display piece for me because then on the back side, you've got the actual, the, the air of Slytherin on the, on the back wall there, his, his face, you know, etched out of stone where the, uh, the basilisk actually crawls out of his mouth, um, when, um, when he's summoned by Tom Riddle. So I love this piece, guys. This is a fantastic addition to the, to the, to the, uh, my collection, because honestly, I'm trying to decide which way I'm going to display this. I'm probably going to display it the you know the the door side out, but then the back side is so phenomenal as well. So I mean maybe you know depending on how I feel during the day, I might maybe flip it around or whatever. What do you what do you think? Uh, I want it to be like that. You want to display it with the face out? 
Yeah. You like the face side better? Mm -hmm. Wait, watch, Dad. Um, wait, wait, what do they say? He speaks a parcel tongue. I don't know parcel tongue, so that's that's how he opens it. <laughs> yep, and then it opens. It opens. I, I love it. And, and again, I mean, the inside of this is not massive. I mean, you could store some little, like, jewelry or something inside of it. So I'm not 100% sure what I would keep in here. But again, um, I mean, if you're going to display it, I mean, it's either going to be, to me, the door open takes away from this. I think it's it's still cool looking, but I think that way or that way are definitely the way that you're going to display that. I'm going to display this in my collection. You can display it however you want. I mean, it's your collection, right? But um, I think this is a phenomenal piece. And um, I should got, make you guys aware that a fantastic woman that is um, over in China, who I met through Instagram, did me a humongous favor and helped me um, add the um, the precious metals um, it's the um, the Chamber of Secrets I don't know if you've seen it it actually has the the snakes that the snake that that spins around the outside of it and then allows you to open it and it's got um, the uh, sort of Gryffindor inside it comes inside the riddle journal it was a, an offering that came from um, ICBC in um, in China and hold on one second and I have struggled. I mean, literally fought uh, for probably eight months to try and track this thing down and get a hold of it myself. I could not do it. And she was so gracious to reach out to me and tell me that she would actually help me um, achieve that uh, that piece for my collection. I don't think I would have gotten it any other way. So thank you so much, Mamta, for um, for helping me with that because that is uh, an amazing piece that still hasn't arrived, but when it gets here, it's going to be fantastic. And then because of the fact that it's another chamber door, uh, I could probably display it this way so that I can have the, the chamber door uh, on the uh, uh, on the outside of that one. So, so again, thank you so much for helping me out. Um, did you have something you um, want to say? Um, I saw this, or it was on Instagram, it was just the same thing, uh -huh. just the snakes moved. Yeah, uh-huh, that's, that's what this piece is. The piece that she helped me get is just that. It's silver, and it looks just like this, and the snakes move on the outside. Yeah, but you got you got the last fun one. I like, I like the snake one. This is the one that where the snakes move. Well, but this one's the less fun one. So, hey Dad, uh huh. Is it hot? Like, is there something to close the door? Because look, this is a little magnet. Yeah. There's a little tiny magnet that's in there. You see it right on the edge there. Yeah. Yeah so, it's, yeah, so it's got a magnet that holds the door shut. I should tell you that as well. But all in all, guys, a great addition to the collection. I think that um, that this is a, a piece that is well worth, because it's really solid. I mean, it's a it's a heavy piece. Um, so, I mean, it's worth uh, the, the money that you spend for that piece, because it's not a cheap piece. I want to say somewhere right around the realm of, uh, of, of 80. Um, but um, in my opinion, it's worth it for the detail and, uh, and the quality. So... Um, Guys, this is a short one today because we've only got the one piece to do. Yeah. Uh, who is this? That's the heir of Slytherin. Salazar Slytherin. Do you ever see him? Um, no, you don't ever see him because he's long gone. He's one of the founders of Hogwarts. He f formed the Slytherin house. Salazar oh, Slytherin. Who formed the Gryffindor? Godric Gryffindor. Helga Hufflepuff. And Rowena Ravenclaw. How about Hufflepuff? I just gave it to you. What? <laughs> Did you not listen? Did you totally ignore the words I said? What? I said Helga Hufflepuff. Huff That's her name. Huff Ravenclaw. Rowena Ravenclaw. That's uh. all of them. <laughs> Guys, if you've made it to this part of the video, and it's been a tough one, then, then please do not forget to click that subscribe button, click that bell notification, give us both a great big thumbs up, and do not forget to check us out on Instagram and TikTok, too. Guys, it has been an absolute pleasure. You, you spending another... You dropped it over there. You spending another magical moment with Searson and I. But until next time, all, all you wizards, wizards and muggles, muggles alike, keep, keep it magical. magical.